the Ontario Liberal Party, MPP Michael Couture. Well, good afternoon and uh, welcome to the Ontario Legislature. I'd like to, uh, to thank uh, everyone for being here. I know that uh, we've got some, uh, uh, some very important people in the room, but I'd like to especially thank the, uh, the young children that are here and uh, for their bravery. And, uh, and for just being here to, to share their story. So thank you so much. Uh, my father's from Grenada. My family's uh, from Caracou. And um, uh, I know that this is a trait that uh, is very prevalent uh, within, uh, within our community. I've grown up with... Um, uh, many family members who have uh, who have suffered from uh, uh, different uh, episodes and uh, lifelong challenges because of it. And I know that um, what it does, it really takes away from your quality of life in many different ways. Um, one of my cousins, um, I only have a couple cousins in, uh, Jenny, I didn't see a couple cousins in, uh, in Toronto, but um, I know that one of my cousins has, uh, it's changed her life completely. Uh, when it comes to employment, when it comes to raising children, when it comes just to quality of life, and uh, it's, de it's quite devastating. Um, I also grew up with uh, a young man uh, in Flemington Park who passed away in his 30s uh, uh, because of it. And, um, you know, so it's a, a very, it can be very devastating if it's not uh, uh, treated properly or the severity of the, uh, the challenges. Um, while I was, we were in government for, uh, I was in government in the, uh, for six, I guess six years uh, in different ministries, and uh, this has been an issue that I've always advocated for. In fact, um, uh, one of the reasons the advocacy days are here today is because of the, uh, the encouragement um, to come in and to explain to uh, MPPs and policymakers about this, uh, uh, this, uh, this health challenge for many people. Um, it, it's, a, it's a, a disease that not many people know of. Um, you know, you take, for example, I remember you sent me an email, uh, Landry, back in 2007 that talked about um, uh, the funding for cystic fibrosis. I think there's 4,000 uh, patients across the country. Uh, the funding is about $17 million uh, for advocacy. And in the United States, the sickle cell, uh, United States Age uh, Aware um, uh, organization is uh, tens of millions of dollars in funding. Uh, when it comes to Ontario and Canada, that funding is limited, and uh, there's no question in my mind um, there is uh, racism attached, systemic racism attached to uh, to uh, to uh, the healthcare system in this country. Um, we tried to uh, to bring in through the anti-racism directorate a, um, a race-based statistics uh, for healthcare. It's something that we believe was necessary, and that would actually end up uh, once you collect that type of data, because a lot of the healthcare system is based on on big data. We believe that, uh, that once you start to collect that data, it becomes undeniable that you have to actually make those massive changes. The same thing. While well, I was a school board trustee, when we brought in race-based data, um, we started to see changes in the learning opportunity index where the funding went because of, uh, because of the data. It was undeniable at that point. Um, so we need to continue to collect the right type of data in the healthcare system. I encourage the, uh, the current government uh, to collect that information. The anti-racism director for the last year has, uh, has fallen on deaf ears. There's been no action. It is important that the four sectors that were identified, including healthcare, um, are uh, acted upon and uh, that we start to collect that data in order to make better decision-making in health. I want to say that um, you have my full support. The association has uh, my full support, whatever I can do. Uh, there's not many liberals in the building anymore, uh, but, uh, but we're still here. And, uh, and uh, I am uh, I'm here to stand up for, uh, for our community, for uh, anyone who uh, suffers from this, uh, this terrible disease. And, um, I just want to say thank you for being here. I also want to recognize uh, Natalie DeRosier, who's uh, joined us, who's one of the other seven liberals uh, in the Ontario legislature. Thank you so 